Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome to the number one podcast you're listening to <laughs> right now. You're and not the host. I'm with my landlord, Sheena Melwani, I'm... and welcome to another episode no. of Sheena no. Sh- Inter... I am the host. I'm Sheena Melwani, and this is another episode of Sheena... No, Inter- I am <laughs> the host. I am the host. <laughs> I am the host. No, you're not. Thank you for listening once again <laughs> to Tridelian Fizzlebang. Oh my God. The number one podcast you are listening to right now with my landlady, Sheena Melwani. Are you done? What is today's episode about? <laughs> I paid the host, my rent. What is the episode the about? If you're the host, why don't you tell us? Today's episode <laughs> you have no idea. is about social media. Social media. Yep. I, you don't ask me and then say the answer because before me. Because you had me. no idea. You I look knew. like a deer in the headlights. You've seen deer in headlights? Yes, actually, I you have? have. Yes. They, they look, look this fantastic very to you. scared. This looks scared. You look like oh I'm oh what right are we now. talking about today? I have nothing planned. I have done my part. Which is? I told everyone, thank you and welcome to the number one podcast you're listening <laughs> to right now. I gave them my name for the journey today. Which is? Mr. Fizzlebang. <laughs> Mr. Fizzlebang. Yes. Tridarius Fizzlebang. Tridalian. <laughs> Don't get it wrong. Okay. You could call me Fizz Biggie if you want. I think I'll pass. You can call me that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome Today's back. Today's episode. episode is about social media. Yes. We're the talking good, about the good, the, the bad, bad, and everything and the in hungry. between. You have food? I don't have food. <laughs> oh, it's the ugly. We just ate dinner. I'm hungry. Already? When we ate dinner like two and a half hours ago. No, we didn't. What did we eat even? You had rice. Oh, yes, people. <laughs> <laughs> and water. It was a treat today. She Remember spoils I had us salad? in this house <laughs> out of a yogurt container. I did actually eat out of a yogurt container. What was your high for this week? I have an unexpected. Okay. Do you want to go first? Go ahead. High and low. I had a great day yesterday. What did you do? I stayed home all day while you drove to Connecticut. (laughs) Oh, yes. That's right. (laughs) That was amazing because I got to sit on the couch and read my book. Yes. I finished this book, Lessons in Chemistry. It was you just read it now. fabulous. Why I are you just you finished, finished it, it yesterday, then? because I read like half the book yesterday while I was sitting on the couch and the girls were playing in the basement. It was glorious. The girls. We have one girl for those astute enough to listen to the story. Yes, but they were. She had her friends. friends over and they were having the time of their lives. And that was better than today, where you repeated said laying on the couch and reading when I took them both skating in the back. That so was you've like done fifteen very little. minutes. I enjoyed this minutes. weekend. Yeah, that was like 15, 15 minutes. I didn't have okay. much left of the book. My... You'll have to revisit the rules because the amount of lies you tell on this podcast <laughs> is actually shocking to me. It takes more than 15 minutes just to get their skates tied and get okay. them on the pond. The so... sun was just <laughs> passing its apex when I took them to the pond Thank and I didn't for... bring them back until Thank you for dark. the time off. It was fabulous. Somehow, I enjoyed a wonderful minutes. weekend. 15 minutes. It was wonderful. Okay. Okay. Low? Any lows? Me? Yeah. Yeah, the amount of lies my significant other <laughs> tells so evenly, openly, with a straight face to people, just as if it's another day walk in the park. I like to keep you on park. your toes. I'm just telling the truth and Article 2 of the Podstitution. Yeah. This will go in the podcast. What was your name again? Tridalian Fizzlebang. <laughs> okay. Just checking. Stop it. <laughs> What's your name? Sheena Mawani. Yeah. So why? What? Such a weird question to ask somebody. (laughs) And this is the number one podcast you're listening to right now with your host, Tridalian Fizzlebang. Wow. 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 Thank you. Okay. Okay. So what's your low? Um. Apparently not being surrounded by your loved ones for the whole weekend (laughs) didn't make the list. My low was that I couldn't motivate myself to exercise last week. And I think that I really needed to, like, I need to get out of that funk. So the whole week you haven't exercised? No. Is that why you're wearing these loose-fitting clothes all week? <laughs> yes. Oh, I get it. You're just eating chips and uh, packing it in so you can pack it out next week. That's right. That's a good system. Yeah. This week was just kind of like a, I felt kind of yucky. I want to get back on track next week. It's going to be good. But it was a little bit of a, like, you know, I felt like I had to go over a hump. I think a lot of people feel that way this time. It's cold. Yeah. It's winter. Yeah. And uh, and it's like all the resolutions are kind of like fizzling. You have little. resolutions? to launch the podcast which we did did. 
and to be better organized, which I did. But yeah. I don't think I so focused on... why don't you on, make it one of your resolutions to, to exercise? exercise? I did not. I think I need to revisit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now for the unexpected, Go now ahead. that you've bored us with this <laughs> story of boring? yours. I've been so productive, but I didn't work out for four <laughs> days, Joe. I'm feeling down. How about you? Oh, bloody, I fell. I broke my tooth. <laughs> Bank is coming after me for my home. I hate my job and my spouse... Who is said very, that? So many people listening to this podcast are dealing with more. Oh, I had to wear a baggy <laughs> sweater today because I didn't work out for four days. Hmm, I'll go to the fancy gym next week. Yeah, I'll fix that right away. <laughs> Have some bloody empathy. Shameless you are. May your sweaters be tighter all year there. Okay. Unexpected. Go ahead. Don't laugh. So this lady mm -hmm. was in a meeting. She came in. Do I know this lady? No. Have she, I ever met no. this lady? Are you just... Uh, you don't know. Did you make her up? Just b kick my leg when it's time for me to participate. <laughs> okay, when you're done with your. Go. All right. Go okay. Ahead. So I'm in this room and this lady is sitting there. She comes in. She represents a different company. She walks in the room. And there's I see her. I say hello. Say hello to her colleagues. Uh -huh. Then when I get close to her to say hello again. She's she's looking at me like she's surprised. Did she know you? And I'm wondering this. Uh -huh. And I'm like, are you wondering I'm if she knows you? I'm not saying anything, but I just say hello. I turn around. I go sit on in my chair near my side of the table. Okay. Then she sits down and she's looking at the rest of the people. And I realize this look of surprise hasn't left her face. Uh -huh. And I'm wondering what is going on right now. Yeah. Did you have something then in your I, teeth? No. There's okay. uh, five people in the room and she's looking at everyone the same way. Okay. Then I realized this woman has injected things in her face. Oh. But... Okay. She has the opposite that has happened. So here's my unexpected. She looked surprised. You know when they inject your forehead? Yeah. To try to keep the lines gone? Yeah. This lady, I think what happened, she was laying there. And then when they're about to inject her, she went, huh? <laughs> like they told her the price of the injection. She went, what? And then boom, they zapped her. So she got stuck in that look. No, it just Yeah, she happened. got stuck. <laughs> like complete shock the whole day. So the whole meeting, she's like, oh, how are you? <laughs> are we having lunch here? With her lines. Just, with not her, lines, did just she have lines? shock. So just her shock. Eye, yeah. eyebrows eyes are up, were lines up. are there. Like I think that happens. <laughs> it's like this, like fully in engaged mode. I think that happens when you do Botox. I think. No, normally they just zap you and then they look like they have no emotion. Oh. Opposite they look. They look like. I'm like, hey, you want a million dollars? They're like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> They're like, yeah, so good by voice, but face showing nothing. Zoop, zero, end cast. Are you sure about that? I did not ask her. Were you shocked when they zapped your face? No, I don't think. But I think that this is normal. No. No. This lady. We do not have nothing normal knowledge about this. enough about this to know if it's normal or not. I have seen a lot of humans in my time. Yeah. And there are very few I've seen who look like there's a tiger cat about to pounce them. <laughs> For 40 minutes straight. Okay. Her eyes like, the whole time. Just like, huh? But not saying, huh? Just, she's just there like this. Like talking normal, normal nonsense. Like, huh? Wait. Like, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's four o'clock. But that was my unexpected. To see this complete shock but for no reason on this lady's face. <laughs> She's shocked fun. by nothing. Just do this whole episode completely shocked. Not with your hands, your face Why like this. Because out? if someone shows that shock, I feel like you have to protect yourself. You put the hands up. So that's it. That was my unexpected. Every week I'll remember some random thing okay. and I will share it with the people. We should do, we should add to this game. We should do like the funniest thing that happened this Get week. rid of the high and the low. Why? Those are just... Un even in statistics, you throw away the high and the low. No, I what like it. What is the it. most average thing that happened to you <laughs> No, this I week? like it. I really like okay. this game. I want to okay. continue playing. But we can move on. Okay. Let's start the episode. <laughs> I can't take you Let's start the episode. Yes, that's a normal thing to say. But look at my face. It looks like you just told me that you've cured cancer. <laughs> okay, stop what? doing What? You're that. eating your toenails cures cancer? Wow, that that's the face you should make if someone says, eating my toenails cures cancer. You're like, what? This person's completely crazy or wow, the world is a beautiful place now. You just have to eat this man's feet. But no, when somebody <laughs> says something like, what time do you want to go for lunch? You shouldn't say three o'clock because then people think you're going to kill them at lunch. Okay. 
Stop making the face though, because I can't take you seriously. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? This is this is extreme. Social this podcast, media. Is there anything that you ever have? God, do we like it or we hate it? Tell me. I want to know in advance. <laughs> we like we it. We like it. Yeah. It's such a nice look. It's so beautiful. Social media has done a number on our family. Yes. You wouldn't exist, but for social media. Exactly. Not so I wanted guy. to talk about that. I wanted so to handsome. tell people about why you have this guy following you around. The origin episode that you recently listened to. Yes. Did that come up by now? Yes, <laughs> that tells the story how we didn't plan on this. We did not plan on this. Yeah, it just happened. All of our profiles were actually set to like, nobody could find what us. What profiles? Who was looking for us? You didn't even have an Instagram. We had one Instagram that I used to post like our kids and family photos on. For who? For our friends and family to see. And it was set to private. Private, okay. And we had so like 14 followers. Yeah. It was literally like... Followers? Those like, are family. You yeah, don't they call were them followers? <laughs> on Instagram, it's called followers. Okay. That's why I'm just using that so term. So 14 people... 14 people used Who you to... forced to look at your children's photos. Yes, maybe a little more. Maybe so. like 34. Those are people who would call and say, hey, can you like my <laughs> picture? I put a picture of my kid. Please <laughs> like it. Yeah. Yes. And then when this started taking off, remember what you did to your TikTok page? So I had a page... <laughs> I took it down the page because the page was getting too many looky looky and I don't likey likey. How Simple. come you didn't like it? Because people ask us Un all the time, why is he yes. covered? Why is his face you. covered? Why does he wear the emoji? First why of he? all, this emoji looks just like me. Sorry to break it to you, but when I take this off, you're going to be like, oh, wait. It looks, looks like a human version of the cartoon. Yeah, because when anybody the ever face was already there. And, and then the emoji we're using it, like you make on your own. You make it to look like you. So and when anybody sees us in public, they're, they're like, like, oh my oh, God, oh you my look God, just like You're so emoji. much hotter than your emoji. No, your skin is better. <laughs> so listen. Yeah. The reason I did it mm -hmm. was because, unlike what the internet troll articles say, mm -hmm. your net worth is not $1.4 million. <laughs> Or 2.8 or whichever website you look at next that says I grew up Why in Bombay or I don't that? know. No, they just put a number because it, it's good I for know, clickbait. I know people said I was worth a lot of money. Yeah, but uh, that's not true. No. Nope. So all of these fine things you see in this house, yeah. like that fake vase and the grass yeah. and, um, you know, the, the again, water Again, the vase jugs. is not fake. We're going to break that though. When did we say? Vase. When is that going to break? When any one of our episodes hits a hundred thousand streams. Like, oh, let's put a hundred thousand on that. So then when we kind of hit it, we can just break the vase. You want to put a hundred thousand like, dollars in no, the vase? You think we have? <laughs> I want to put a hundred thousand target. Oh, so when you God, hit a hundred, I can my break vase. it. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So I had to put this on because I have a job that actually pays so we can live in this house and yep. pay our mortgage yeah like a normal yep. uh Family. kind of serious job okay and when you have a job like that you don't really run around saying hey guess what i have uh two million people that like to watch my shenanigans on the tiki talk that's right because they say oh here here's the door <laughs> but people kept insisting they wanted to see they wanted to see who's the you know who's the voice because it was just a voice in the back mm -hmm. so we went and then you uploaded this emoji tridalian was born tridalian tridalian fizzlebanga so that's why the emoji came to life and uh kind of taking a liking to this fella yeah he's cute so i keep the emoji for my social media presence why does this keep happening to your voice what you don't know what no okay moving on so what? Should we move on? I don't know what's happening even. I thought uh, the episode was over. No, we're just You're just on. rambling now. I am not. You've completely given up on rule number one. Which is? Oh, no. The rule number one is that the episode is 30, 30 minutes. minutes. So now we have to ramble for 30 minutes before we get to it. No. I like that's a good way to do it. Oh, just my God. lose the audience before you get into the <laughs> thing. Thank you if you're still here. Listening okay. to the number one podcast you're listening to right now. It happened so quickly. It did happen so it quickly. It grew so, all of our accounts grew so, so, so quickly. You're very lucky. We were very, People work very, very hard to get to a point where strangers will want to listen to them yapping to themselves in their basements at night. It's true. All of a sudden, we were kind of propelled into this world of like, now you're on social media. Yes. And we had to think about, was this really something that we wanted to do? And what did it mean to be on social media? We Like, remember when we went out, all of a sudden, somebody started to like, People started to notice us. We had a very normal life in suburbia. We still do. Who built that chair? 
That's how you know when you've made it. Staples. They did not build that chair. It came in a little box that no one would believe that chair would fit in and I had to assemble it. Yes, that's right. So that's how you know. <laughs> what? You have not made it until someone builds your furniture. Okay. Who did your laundry? Me. You have not made it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If somebody does my laundry, I've made it? Maybe. Oh. Depends. Depends. So I think that we didn't realize how quickly things were going to take off. They literally just started boom, full like skyrocketing. Rockets. Seriously. Our TikTok page all of a sudden one day just started like every day it was 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 followers. It was crazy. Like at one point we were getting 10,000 followers a day. Do you remember? No. It was insane. When things like that started happening, do you remember that couple? There was a couple that wanted to take a picture with me there was a lady that said oh can i take a picture with you when that happens like every no, time no, you the go first out. time it i happened. had no idea when okay, was we were the at the time. mall this lady yes. she wants to take a picture with me well, she outside the shoe store yes yes yes, yes. she asked okay. you to take the picture yes every time they asked me to take the picture so <laughs> oh, i love this girl can you take a picture and i'm like yeah i'll take the picture and then they say oh you're so funny tell your dad he's awesome when you get home <laughs> And I say, yeah, okay, but the funny nice. part of that story was actually that other lady that was standing in the back. Do you no, remember? it was a boy, not a lady. The mom was there and yes. she told her son, go take a picture with that girl. And so I was like, okay. And he takes a picture with me. So at that point, I'm thinking like, wow, this is so cool. Two people in a row, they want to take a picture with me. And it was, it was, a, it was very early on. So I smile, I take the picture with the boy and then he leaves. And as he's walking away, he's asking his mom in Spanish, ¿Quién es? <laughs> You didn't even know what you were. I had no idea. The mom's like, I don't know. I think she's somebody <laughs> famous. That lady asked for her picture. <laughs> they had no idea who I was, but they were like, oh, there's a famous lady. Let's take her picture. Point that of was that one story of... is social media is awkward. It is. Because all of a sudden go to I strangers felt like... in the mall and say, can I take a picture with you? Yeah, it was really weird. Like, even if you don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. But people would do that with autographs before. Who? If someone went and stood in line, our kids have done that. You take them to the Patriots and then they have other people standing there for an autograph. A player comes out who they don't Even know. They, they don't still know. ask. But that's that's, that's what happened. When that happens or when that happened, I was like, what what is this? And all of a sudden, little things like that used to happen. And like people saying, hey, can I just send you free stuff? Yeah. Like that's really a strange concept when you're not in social media. We had no idea what yeah, social people media. People give you things. Yeah. Like it wasn't a job 20 years ago to be in social media, to be a content creator. Now when you ask people like kids nowadays, they want to grow up to be YouTubers. Some some of them. Well, they want to be an influencer. Or they want to like be an you. influencer. I'm not. I'm not an influencer. You're an influencer. I'm not an influencer. You influence my decision today to be sitting in my basement at night instead of upstairs watching TV. That's called being your wife. That's true. <laughs> That's all it is. But you're an influencer. People I don't send consider you things. myself to be an influencer. Does your behavior online influence other people's decisions it's not as easy as yes or no but I that's don't... that you only get two options okay let's try a different way can no, i have no, a maybe no no mouth just <laughs> this hand for yes this Timbu, hand for no. Nimbu? yeah just limbo limbo names right got it does your behavior yes influence the behavior of other people i don't know Yes. Okay, sorry. I cannot help you people. Yes. She doesn't understand the question. No, it's not. You'd be arrested I... if they asked you anything. <laughs> I hope a police officer never pulls you over. I'll have to come and get you from jail. Why? Because you just can't answer a question. Because I They'd don't be like, know that it's can that you answer? Simple. I don't know. I don't know the question, sir. Please write it and bring it to me. It's not Email that Email it to simple. my people. Then we'll read it to you together. It is not that simple. The answer is yes. Okay. Millions of people see what you do. Yeah. So if someone sees the sweater and they say, oh, I like the sweater... They'll, they'll go buy it. It used to be put it on a billboard. Now we put it on the phone because that's the billboard. So these are some of the cool things that have happened with social media. Um, I have to say that there have been moments too that I... What are the bad parts? There have been some moments where I've actually wanted to stop altogether. Like the trolls are really not nice. And I, I, I know what you're going to say. We don't have a ton of trolls. We do not. All things considered, I feel like we get... 95% really, really kind and nice messages. But that 5% sometimes is so aggressive and so negative and so harsh that when I, in the beginning when we started and I used to read all of the comments, I wouldn't know to turn away when I got into a patch of mean comments. And it's really hurtful. People can be really, really nasty. And that often made me want to just like shut down for a couple of days. There were instances that I don't want to go back into them, but there were instances where I remember getting messages that were that felt personal. 
that felt very, very, they were crude, they were aggressive. And I remember actually saying to you, I can't do this. And I, I took a break from social media. I like detoxed for three days. I did not even open my phone, open the apps. Like I, I didn't want to know anything about it. I think I'm a pretty confident person now, but I also think that we all have a tendency to have certain weaknesses or weak spots. And if those get jabbed a little, we can. Like what's your weak spot? I'm not telling tell me, you. Tell them. <laughs> tell tell the trolls who are listening. Because your podcast already got a few one stars. So I know they've come. <laughs> know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point is, if you find those and you, you hit them on a day that I can handle it, great. And if you hit them on a day where I'm feeling a little weakened already or tired or hangry or whatever it might be, that may be a little harder to digest that day. Yeah. And I think that over time I've gotten a little bit stronger, but I also think that in the beginning that was really frustrating and that was a hard thing so to So it's overcome. less frustrating now? Yeah, it is. It's easier? It's much easier now. Because you just don't have time to read them or you actually read them and you're like, oh, this, this person's a jerk. Both. And you keep going. Both. So you're desensitized. I think so. So in time, you get desensitized to that too. You yes. have no idea how lucky you are because the majority of people doing what you do for a living yeah. don't have the privilege of having such a just decent and kind audience. Yeah, it's true. And that's not a shameless thank you for being here. It's just a fact. Mm -hmm. We don't have the type of following many people have. Mm -hmm. We don't have the size of deals many people have. Yeah. We don't have a lot of things that people in this world have. Yeah. We have a lot more than many people in this world have also. Yeah. But when it comes to the behavior online, our audience, we have wonderful. a ridiculously <clears throat> solid, decent, supportive. kind, supportive audience. Yeah. And they support each other. Yeah. I agree with the, you 100%. There's never, there's never been a time where I've read a single comment that as rude or as mean as it could be, that ever trumped the massively mm -hmm. kind and thankful. We get a lot of comments from people who are not feeling great mm -hmm. that thank us for helping, helping them, them do better. That. Yeah. And there that's isn't actually my a single favorite troll. part. This is my favorite thing about yeah. what we do. Like I had this as a big note here to talk about this is when you talk about like the the amazing things and the terrible things like this is such a this is my favorite thing about what we do talking to people or receiving those messages that say you helped me crawl out of the darkest place that I have been in or you helped me um, make such a an important choice here where I was feeling so dark that like I'm thankful for you forever and I just feel like that is such a privilege that is it such is. a privilege that and you we owe it get to them to, to ignore mm -hmm. the the losers. Yeah, no, it's true. I, so you're just right, but I'm human. To, yeah, I'm we, not. I'm a cartoon, so it's easy for me. <laughs> I can just say these things. I actually don't read many comments, I know. which is the. I wish I had time to read some more of them because, again, ninety nine out of a hundred are really uplifting. Yeah, but there's just no time. Yeah. So thank you for writing comments that I don't read because it helps other people find the content and they can write comments I don't read. I mean, I, I try my best to read through some of them, a lot of them, at least in the first 30 minutes of posting. And they that's are, the secret. They are generally that's true. When you post, so Because those are the people that want to see what you're writing. Mm -hmm. Like I see these things that pop up on my phone, the majority of the stuff that's fed to you, the majority of you found us because your phone just threw us in front of you. Mm -hmm. And you saw and you made a decision that, oh, this is interesting. I want to see more of this. Mm -hmm. I see so much of that and I don't care. So why should someone else care about what I'm putting out? Mm -hmm. Like if it brings you some sort of joy, do it. The people who are sitting there writing junk, they are such a bad place in their own lives mm -hmm. that they sit there and they write negative comments about strangers. Mm -hmm. Like that's the one of the most pitiful positions you could be in. Yeah, I think we have about 90... 95 percent 99.95 percent 99.95 percent of like really really good yeah things. great we have happy We've traveled people. places yes. we have met amazing people we've had really really cool experiences and the happiness factor in our lives i think because of what we do and the kinds of messages that we get is like 
has shot through the roof. I think it is such a cool thing to be able to spread joy and in the, the way that we've do. gotten to meet. You've yeah. never met a lot of the people. Some of our good friends now. Yep. Are people are that we people didn't know we didn't like three, know years, three ago. years ago. Yeah. And sadly, we would have never gotten to meet a lot of these people, yeah. but for the fact that your account is of a size. So that's another thing that's like a part of the reason people really enjoy social media or you wonder like, why are people doing this? Yeah. You could send a message to just about anybody, any brand, anything. Yeah. And there's a good chance. You know they'll see, see yeah. it because the way the system works, it boosts your message right to the top to the top. Yeah. Now they may choose not to respond, but it's still very interesting yeah. to see that interaction. And we've been lucky enough to And that has really its cool downsides people. too. Like if you go to a party and nobody knows who you are, they won't they'll ignore you and then they all of a sudden they figure out your following and then they're like, Oh, I know who she is or I know what they have. Like it makes sense for someone that looks like you to be successful online. Yeah. The shock on their face when they see me uh, and, and what... then they go look and they're like, <laughs> what the hell? That guy has a large following. Yep. But why does he look like that? <laughs> it's they're weird. always shocked because yes. I'm older than them. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. And then they're like, oh, my God, do you know who that guy is? And then their moms normally say, yes, yes, I know him. I follow him. Yeah. The point is, I think we have a really, really strong base. I think we have like 99 point. What did you say? 95 percent like excellent. And for me, I feel like going into this crazy world of social media, this like weird experiment that we started on going into this, like the time in our lives that when I started social media, I was at what a is point. This? Like when I started social media, I was at a you point. Milk? <laughs> no. Why are you doing the milk sign? This is more, by the more. way. More. Why are you on more milk? I don't want more milk. Do do. Listen, I'm trying to get sentimental here. Yeah, it's scaring me. When I started social media, I was at a point in my life where I didn't know what my purpose was, other than being home with my kids, I, which was very good. I'm not complaining about that. I, I feel very lucky to have done that, but I I felt like I needed a bigger purpose to have a purpose that is tied to something so joyful and so like happy is really a blessing and a privilege it is i have not seen anything negative with this world that's beyond what i would expect you know the story when bieber went home so bieber in new york mm -hmm. has to be surrounded by security all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. He gets home, and this is a couple of years old now, I think, but he gets home and there are people, and it's late, like, you know, a Wednesday at midnight, let's say. And there are people just waiting at the door of the building. Mm -hmm. And he gets out and they're like, you know, whatever, can I take a picture, this, that. And he's, and his security guards are all there and he's walking through and he actually stops and he says something like, I will stop for a picture anywhere but i just finished work and i just got home and i hope you could understand i just want to go home imagine someone coming to your house and standing outside mm -hmm. asking you to go back to work when you just got home mm -hmm. and then the lady says something like i'm so sorry i understand but let's take a picture mm -hmm. like he i don't care if you like his music you don't like his music you like what he's done in his life or not the point is the man was just trying to go home mm -hmm. and he couldn't go home. Mm -hmm. Mbappe, who is a world renowned soccer player, mm -hmm. recently said something along the lines of, he can't go back to a normal life. Mm -hmm. Like he would trade a lot to be able to go to a mall or to have a picnic or to go out. You could do all of that. Do all the and things. the only thing that happens when you go to a mall or you go for a restaurant, you go to a picnic is someone says, thank you for your content. You make me laugh. Mm -hmm. Like there's no you, there's no hindrance. There's there's just bonuses. Yeah. So, yes, you have a couple of, you know, pathetic and sad people who probably need help in their lives that yeah. will sit there on their keyboard and spew out some garbage. Yeah. But I don't know how we found this middle ground. Yeah where just about anywhere you go, you get a smile yeah. 
from people absolutely and they're thankful absolutely. and they support you yeah. and and i'll just i'll i want to cut in and say i get messages sometimes from people saying oh i saw that you were here and i didn't want to disturb you and i but i just wanted to message you and say hi and you make me really happy you should come and say hi you should definitely come over and say hello because we love that we love hearing from you that you laughed with us or you shared a moment with us because i think what what is important to me and and possibly you is just that connection i love making connections with people it's just one of my favorite things in life yeah i don't think you should put people on pedestals. No. And I mean that in the most respectful way. Mm -hmm. I think you can appreciate an athlete, an entertainer. You can appreciate their talents. Yeah. At the end of the day, they're all humans. Yeah. And for you to go up to a human and say something kind, it's that's a win-win. Never a bad thing. And yeah, if that person is not in a mood to receive it or is rude or arrogant, then you could choose where you spend your time. Mm -hmm. But... I don't see that as a distraction. No, as we anything. love it. We love, love, love it. We love making those connections. We love those exchanges because it brings us joy. And you wouldn't be here doing this mm -hmm. if it wasn't for the people that listen. A lot of social media people, a lot of content creators curate what you see on their feed. So do we. Uh, I think we try our best not... What is that light that's focused on your face right yep. now? There, there is some level and that's so that people can see us. That plant is not even real. Yes, it's not. You're it's just correct. fake. You're correct. You put a fake plant in the house. So you have to be very, that very careful. That lamp doesn't have a bulb in it. It doesn't. <laughs> it's not even plugged in. <laughs> I see the cable on the floor. You have to be very, very aware of the fact that what you see online is not... Not real. It's not it's real. Fake grass. It's a fake grass. At least grass. we tell them. Yep. We fake awards. It's not it's a 17, fake award. 17,000 subscribers. No, she says we have a million. It's not a fake award. That award is real. That award is real. But a lot we of what you that, see actually. online is not. I'm teasing you, but we don't actually do very much of that. I mean, we help our chances to create good lighting or to have a That's pretty so background. Can see. But what you like, what we talk about and what we show people in our content is as authentic as we can possibly make it i yeah, think yeah sometimes you're dressed up and going out sometimes it's pajamas sometimes yeah. it's brushing teeth like maybe that's part of what people like yeah they can relate more and w just so you you guys so know you should fold laundry and like we should do sheets or something in one of these podcasts make it very relatable i really don't we still fold our own laundry we do we haven't made it no um the other thing i wanted to tell our listeners is like a lot of people ask us like oh do you practice these skits yeah they're not skits all the time no they're not skits. this is all everywhere go back to page two <laughs> <laughs> read that part again <laughs> They're not no, nothing prepared. Nothing prepared. So often I'll, you know, I'm just going to give them a little like insight as to how we come up with content. So we might find an idea that is funny By or we she means her. Okay, so I might find an idea that I think is funny. I will sort of like set the scene and I'll say, "Okay, I'm filming." But yep. apart from that, I have no idea what's going to come. So many times you don't even tell me you're filming. So many times I don't tell you I'm filming. Most of the time I feel like you have a sense. Yeah, because you look at me with that tiger lady's <laughs> face and then I know something's going on. Sometimes but, it takes a few seconds to understand, but then you don't know where the trap's going to yeah, come from. Yeah, you have no idea what's coming. You have no idea what happened behind the scenes and you just kind of react. So it is like reactive and it's not... We don't script it out. We have no... Who thinks we script... Who can script like this? A lot of people script their content. No, but our content is not like theirs. Who thinks you can script this sort of madness? I do not. I know. would expect like the acting types of awards if I could do that. Yeah. You would get four or five of the acting awards I am if not you had actress. the ability. So I'm definitely not an actor. Script actress. it. What would the script say? Take any of our videos and actually script it and send it to me. I want to see. That's going to be entertaining to watch. Uh, you know which one we Man should... Man throws tangerine on lady's face because she says she doesn't want... Like, that was... That's just the you know which pure one moment comes to where mind? I'm like, this is Remember nonsense what you're doing. Remember that color thing? If I was a color, what would I be? And what color did you say? Toe beige. Yeah. <laughs> you look toe beige. Your face and your toe is the same color. Why would you say toe because beige? Because you put color on your face. The toe is natural. <laughs> no one goes and puts foundation and blush and they don't use... 
<laughs> blenders on their toe. This is weird. Very natural. See, you can't make this stuff up. I wrote it. This is this is all scripted. Yes. You what didn't know the, those questions. You didn't know what questions I was going to ask you. You answered them like No, right how away. why what's the point? You got to be just say what comes to your mind. That's the easiest way that's to do right. these and things. And that's why when I'm laughing, it's actually based on having heard the joke something the is said time. if it's funny you laugh but people think i'm faking my laugh you are if i'm laughing for yeah. real that's the content that they're seeing if it's a if i don't laugh or it's a fake laugh it doesn't go up you should put up some no like that just fails no why because it's not entertaining because it's curated you only get the successes yes that's how we Social curate media, that is sort of get how the we successes curate. all the crappy videos no, where she's like that wasn't some, funny we throw it away but there are some we delete delete so. delete everything is funny i have never said anything unfunny in the last three years people i'm on a streak i know you're amazing in conclusion we love what we do and we are so grateful and social media has its pros and cons but mostly pros for you for me for other people it could be a bunch of cons but i will leave you with this do not believe all the things that you see on social media yes this is easier for you now yes but imagine all of this, this stuff was, was happening ago. and people are scrutinizing everything you wear and and see yeah. i think that could have been challenging yeah. oh i know people when people like sometimes i'll wear loose stuff and people will say oh my god are you pregnant that doesn't mean they're being mean they're just asking a question. People are allowed to ask. This is online. You could say whatever you want. There's no there's no rules. There are no rules, just, but it's just a rule good good rule to follow, not good to ask rule in women. Life. Not Don't to ask, ask women, women if they're pregnant <laughs> unless a child falls out of them. <laughs> then you say, Is that yours? They, I didn't know you were pregnant. Holy crap, sing. a baby <laughs> fell out of you. Pick that up. You don't litter here. But okay, yep. back to the the moment of uh being cautious. Yeah. I do see, particularly as we start navigating the age where these kids are going to want their own devices. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's, There's a lot of pressure. It's how they communicate. But this thing of looking at likes and views and who saw this and who didn't, that's going to be something that is, I don't know. I didn't grow up that way. Mm -hmm. But that's something that I think as a parent, mm -hmm. I'm very focused on for these two to make sure they don't translate online presses of a button to real validation mm -hmm. for their self-worth because yeah. that's a really sad outcome if that's what you do but your validation for your self-worth cannot come from the outside world it, it has to come from the it inside does for many it they look they feel very good we feel good you feel good you you, I you do, you're but very I feel a lot good. happier when you you see a higher view count yes, in the morning but i feel good before that too and after that too yeah when you are aiming to do something and you think you're succeeding you it has a positive impact on you. 100%. So watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, be careful. Don't make it all about the online world. And you know what I actually, somebody told me this the other day and I think I'm going to do it and I think you already do it. Like set a time limit for social media. That thing's been on my phone for like nine months. Really? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Set a time limit It's amazing. You set the limit, you hit not today, and you keep going. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. No! Yeah. Take us out with a song. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I'm Tridillion Fizzlebang, and I...